Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, it's quite a different video. Today is Thursday the 25th of August, and I'm gonna get my GCC results. Mm, I'm actually really nervous. Like, I've been very chill, I'm not gonna lie, I've been very chill, like, leaded up to this day, because I've just kind of thought, you know, if there's, like, what is the point in being stressed by it? You know, like, don't get me wrong, in the back of my head it's like, well, are they okay? But, at the same time, like, you kind of deal with the problem when it comes to it, if there is a problem. But, yeah, so I've not really been thinking about it, but, like, this morning, when I've woken up, I'm really, really, really worried. But I'll quickly tell you guys the subjects that I've taken. So, I do, obviously, English, Maths, Science, Geography, Graphics, French, Media Studies, RE. That was only short course RE. RE, I actually accidentally missed out. A quarter of the paper which I'm not even gonna get into that but I was so upset I accidentally missed out a quarter of the paper and I actually think I did well in the other bit but now yeah so I don't honestly think I'm gonna pass RE because of that so yeah so I think I might get like a two or a three maximum so yeah um media studies and graphics they're both my favorite subjects I am kind of most worried for those because it's like as they're my favourite subjects and I don't want to do bad in them if that makes sense. This like my results you will probably see far better results on YouTube like I'd say I have average average grades like they're not nines and eights like absolutely not. Um, They'd like I, I was predicted fives and sixes for my grades but the government have actually said that this year for this year's GCSE results like people should literally expect disappointment because apparently like really 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 bad this year so that's not too great i'm not gonna lie uh yeah that's not made my worries any better for like college and stuff what i need to get is five grade fives that's to get into my college course and i need to get them in maths english and graphics and then two other grade fives and something else so that's what I need in terms of predictions and stuff like originally I, I kind of wanted like well obviously I want like sixes but like at first I was kind of predicting to get sixes but now I'm really not thinking so I'll tell you my new predictions my new predictions are for English literature and English language I'd love to get a six but whether I will I don't know maths I hope I get a five French I feel like I'll get a four uh, I'm awful at French. Geography, but by the way, in case you don't know, a four is a pass. So if you've got a four or above, then you've passed. Geography, I think I'll get a four, maybe? I hope, maybe a five? I don't, I don't know. Media studies, maybe a five, which is a bit annoying because like, I don't know which subject, I'd like to have done better, but whatever. Graphics, my coursework was so good. My theory, I think I've really messed it up. So I'm thinking maybe a five. By the way, also, if you don't know, the highest grade you can get is a nine. Oh, really? I don't think I'll pass that. Science, maybe a four or five. The closer it's gotten to this day, like, the worse my predictions are getting. But, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I have to say to you, so I'm just going to wait until I get them, and I'll get back to you. I'm actually really nervous. They are supposed to be on there right now, but my friend just got hers. Wait. I might have found them. No, I found them. I don't want to be cringy, but I'm so, so happy. I'm not going to lie, I did not think I was going to have done this well. Like, I'm so happy. And I also started crying when I was telling my parents what I got, because I'm so happy. Oh, okay, I'm going to read you out. I got, for science, I got a 5-5, five five, which is the highest I could get on my paper. French was my worst grade, which I got a 4. That's the subject the school forced me to do, and I tried to not and they did, so... Anyway, geography I got a six, maths I got a five, which is the highest I can get on my paper. DT I got a six, 
media studies I got six, English language I got an eight. What the oh my gosh. English literature I got a six and RE I got a five, which I missed out of course on the paper. How I'm really happy. If you also did GGC and got your results today, then I really hope you've done well and also remember that if you've not done as well as you wanted it's just, it's just a grade and it's not the be all and end all. I am literally over the moon, like I'm so, so happy with my results. I'm actually so, so happy with my results. So yeah, I'm going to end this video now because you know what I've got, that's the end of the video. But make sure, you know, I really hope if you have just got your GCC results as well, or A-level results or whatever, then, you know, you're happy and if not, then don't worry, like, it's not, it's not everything. If you're also not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be filming like first day of college videos and stuff like that. So yeah, subscribe to me. But yeah, bye.